So the last type of cooler is a liquid to liquid cooler. Now, the way that this works is it's a series of stacked plates with fins on the inside of them. So it's very much the same as this one here, but instead of using air on the outside of it, it uses a coolant and either an oil or transmission fluid. These are typically seen bolted onto the side of your engine for an oil cooler or bolted onto the side of your transmission for a transmission cooler. The reason why these are so effective is they're very small. This particular core size here has a very, very large amount of cooling, whereas this has a large amount of cooling, but it's also much bigger than this. And with a lot of new vehicles, inside your engine bay, there's not a lot of space. So what you're gonna, what the OEs do is they put one of these on here. One of the downsides to this is that it does use your engine coolant in order to cool the oil or the transmission fluid. But the flip side of that is, if you live in an area where it gets extremely cold, it works in a reverse way. It works in a way to heat that fluid to get it up to its optimal operating temperature faster, so that way you don't destroy your engine because your oil is really, really thick or your transmission fluid isn't flowing easily throughout the transmission. 